Welcome to the channel everyone. Today we're all about upping your game. You know me, I love a good challenge, and mastering new skills is what it's all about. So, we're going to break down 10 easy football tricks. That's right, easy. These aren't just flashy moves, they're about control, precision, and outsmarting your opponent. Whether you're just starting out or you've been playing for a while, these tricks will give you that competitive edge. Remember, even I started somewhere. Practice is key. Don't get discouraged if you don't get it on the first try. Keep at it, be patient, and you'll be surprised how quickly you'll master these skills. So, are you ready to become a real game changer on the pitch? Let's get started. First up is the step over. This one's a classic for a reason. It's all about deceiving your opponent, making them think you're going one way when you're about to explode in the other direction. Timing is everything with this trick. You want to make that step right as your opponent is about to commit, leaving them flat-footed and you with a clear path to the goal. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about that sharp, decisive movement. Practice it slowly at first, get the technique down, then you can build up the pace. The beauty of the step over is its simplicity. It's easy to learn but incredibly effective when executed well. Trust me, defenders hate this one. To do a step over, start with the ball in front of you. Now, here's the key. Imagine you're stepping over the ball with your dominant foot. Don't actually step on the ball, just give the illusion that you are. As you're stepping over, use your other foot to push the ball in the opposite direction. This quick change of direction is what throws your opponent off balance. Once you've mastered the basic step over, you can start getting creative. Try a double step over or even combine it with other moves to really leave your defender in the dust. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice the step over, the more natural and effective it will become. Now let's talk about the Cruyff turn. This one's named after the legend himself, Johan Cruyff. He was a master of deception and this move embodies that perfectly. It's all about quick thinking and even quicker feet. Imagine yourself in a tight spot, defender all over you. This is where the Cruyff turn comes in. It allows you to change direction instantly, leaving your opponent grasping at air. The beauty of this move is its versatility. You can use it to create space beat a defender one-on-one, -on -one, or even set up a teammate for a scoring opportunity. It's a move that demands confidence and practice. Don't be afraid to put in the work. Once you master the Cruyff turn, you'll be unstoppable, just like the man himself. All right, let's break down the mechanics of the Cruyff turn. You've got the ball in front of you, defenders closing in. As they commit, you're going to fake a pass or a shot with your dominant foot. This is crucial, you've got to sell it. Instead of following through, you're going to use the inside of your foot to drag the ball behind your standing leg. It's a swift, almost sweeping motion. At the same time, pivot your body in the direction of the ball, using your standing leg as a pivot point. The key is to do this all in one fluid motion. It should catch your defender off guard, leaving them wrong-footed and you with a clear path to goal. Like any skill, practice makes perfect. Start slow, get the technique down, then gradually increase the speed and intensity. You'll be pulling off Cruyff turns in no time. All right, lads, time to learn the scissors. This one's a classic. Simple to do, but trust me, it's super effective. You can use it to completely throw off your defender. Approach the ball at a decent speed. Make it look like you are going straight ahead. Keep your eyes on the ball and the defender. See how they react to your movements. Just as you're about to reach the defender, initiate the move. It's all about timing. The key to the scissors is to sell it. Make the defender believe you are going one way, then switch. And when it comes to deception, nobody does it better than CR7. So, Here's how you execute the scissors. As you approach the defender, step over the ball with your dominant foot. Use your other foot to quickly push the ball in the opposite direction. This will catch the defender off guard and give you space. The quicker and smoother your movements, the more effective the trick. 
The scissors can be used in various situations, so get out there and start practicing your scissors. Next up, we have the drag back. It's all about control, precision, and a little bit of flair. When executed correctly, it leaves your defender flat-footed. The drag back creates space and changes direction quickly. It's simple but effective when timed right. Timing is everything. Start by dribbling at a moderate pace. Be in control, but have enough momentum. Keep your head up, scanning for openings. Plant your non-dominant foot beside the ball. This acts as your pivot point. Keep the ball close to your feet. Here's where the magic happens. Use the inside of your dominant foot to drag the ball back towards your standing foot. This needs to be one fluid motion, almost like you're caressing the ball. As you're dragging the ball back, simultaneously rotate your hips and shoulders in the direction you want to go. This will help you generate power and accelerate away from your defender, leaving them grasping at thin air. The key to a successful drag back is deception. You want to sell the move, making your defender think you're going one way, then quickly explode in the opposite direction. Remember, it's all about outsmarting your opponent. The drag back is a versatile move that can be used in various situations on the field. Practice it until it becomes second nature, and you'll be gliding past defenders like they're not even there. Now, let's talk about the rainbow flick. It's flashy, cheeky, and pure magic when done right. Creativity, confidence, and audacity set the greats apart. It can leave your opponent bamboozled. The look on their face is priceless. It's like scoring a last-minute winner. Be comfortable with the ball at your feet. With practice, anyone can master it. Here comes the fun part. Using your weaker foot, roll the ball up your standing leg. This takes finesse, so don't worry if you don't get it right away. As the ball reaches the peak, flick it up and over your head with your dominant foot. Create that beautiful rainbow arc. Timing is crucial. Practice makes perfect. Maybe one day you'll pull it off in a big game. The rainbow flick can beat defenders and create scoring opportunities. All right, lads, now it's time to break some ankles with the elastico. This one is also known as the flip flap, and it's all about quick thinking and even quicker feet. To start, you want to approach the ball like you're going to push it forward with the outside of your foot. This is what's going to sell the move, so make it convincing. Then, just as your foot is about to connect, you're going to use the inside of your foot to quickly roll the ball in the opposite direction. It's all about that rapid change of direction that will leave your defender flat-footed. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep at it, and you'll be embarrassing defenders with the Elastico in no time. Think of Ronaldinho, think of Neymar. These guys have made the Elastico their signature move. Why? Because it's deadly effective in tight spaces. Imagine yourself one-on-one -on -one with a defender. You use the Elastico, sending them the wrong way, and boom! You've created space to either take a shot or deliver a killer pass. But remember, timing is everything. You've got to master the quick shift from outside to inside of your foot. It's all about deception and speed. Once you get comfortable with the basic elastico, you can start experimenting with variations. Try it at different speeds, or combine it with other moves for even more devastating results. The roulette, my friends. This is a classic move that never goes out of style. It's elegant, it's effective, and it's all about leaving your defender in a spin, literally. So, how do you do it? As you're dribbling with the ball, plant your non-dominant foot firmly beside the ball. This is your pivot point. Now, here comes the fun part. Use the inside of your dominant foot to drag the ball in a semi-circle around your pivot foot. It's like you're drawing a half moon with the ball. The key is to keep the ball close to your feet throughout the entire movement. You don't want it getting away from you. As you complete the semi-circle, use the outside of your dominant foot to push the ball away in the opposite direction. You've spun around your defender, and they're left wondering what just happened. Timing and coordination are crucial for pulling off a smooth roulette. You need to be light on your feet and have good control of the ball. 
The beauty of the roulette is its versatility. You can use it to beat a defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation, create space in a crowded midfield, or even set up a shot on goal. Just like any other trick, practice is key. Get comfortable with the footwork, and soon you'll be dancing past defenders like they're not even there. Now let's talk about outsmarting your opponent. The fake shot, my friends, is all about deception. It's about making your defender think you're going to shoot when you're really about to do something completely different. It's a simple concept, but it can be incredibly effective. You need to sell it. Act like you're about to unleash a rocket of a shot. Plant your non-kicking foot beside the ball, just like you would for a real shot. Then, as you wind up your kicking leg, really go for it make it look convincing. The key is to fool your defender into reacting. You want them to dive in, jump in front of the ball, anything to try and block the shot. Just as they commit, you're going to pull your foot back and either dribble past them or lay the ball off to a teammate. They'll be left flat-footed, wondering what just happened. It's all about that split second of hesitation that you create. The fake shot is a great way to create space, especially in tight areas. It's also a fantastic way to set up your teammates for scoring opportunities. Remember, practice your poker face. The more convincing you are with your fake shot, the more effective it will be. All right, guys, we're on to trick number nine, and it's a classic, the nutmeg. This one's all about embarrassing your defender. The nutmeg can break down a tight defense and create a scoring opportunity. Timing is everything. Wait for the perfect moment and exploit that gap. When you pull this off in a game, the feeling is incredible. The defender won't forget it in a hurry. Now, let's break down the technique. You want to approach your defender at a slight angle, encouraging them to close you down. As they commit, that's your cue. Use the inside of your foot to push the ball through their legs, making sure you have enough pace on it to get past them. Don't telegraph your move. You want to keep your body language neutral. Don't give your opponent any hints about what you're about to do. Keep your head up, pretend you're going to dribble one way, then bam, nutmeg. Once the ball's through, explode past your opponent. You've already embarrassed them, now it's time to punish them further by creating a chance on goal. Remember, the nutmeg isn't just about getting past your defender, it's about using that advantage to hurt the opposition. So get out there, practice this move, and I guarantee you'll be nutmegging your opponents like a pro in no time. We've arrived at our final trick, and it's another one of my favorites, the chop. This move is all about quick thinking and even quicker feet. It's about leaving your defender flat-footed, wondering which way you went. The chop is a great way to quickly change direction and create space. Whether you're cutting inside or darting down the line, mastering the chop will give you a serious edge on the pitch. It's a simple move, but don't let that fool you. It's incredibly effective, especially when you execute it with confidence. The key here is practice and deception. The more you practice, the smoother and faster your execution will become making it even harder for your opponents to react. Remember, you want to make your opponent think you're going one way, then use the chop to quickly shift direction and leave them trailing in your dust. So how do you execute the chop? As you approach your defender, plant your non-dominant foot firmly beside the ball and use the inside of your dominant foot to quickly push or chop the ball in the opposite direction. The movement is quick and sharp almost like you're stepping on the ball with the inside of your foot. Timing is crucial. Execute the chop too early and your defender will recover. Too late and you'll lose possession. Practice judging the distance between you and your defender to master the perfect timing. Remember, the chop is all about deception. Use your body language to sell the fake. Look one way, then chop the ball in the other direction. This will leave your defender wrong-footed and create space for you to exploit. Practice this move regularly, and you'll be gliding past defenders like they're not even there. So there you have it, guys. 10 easy soccer tricks to boost your skills and leave your opponents speechless. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice these moves, the more they'll become second nature to you on the pitch. 
don't be afraid to experiment and put your own spin on these tricks. After all, that's how you develop your own unique style and become a truly unstoppable force on the field. Now get out there, have fun, and show everyone what you've got. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more soccer tips and tricks. Leave a comment down below letting me know which trick was your favorite and which one you're most excited to try out. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.